going on everyone? It's Brandon with Jacoji Fine Jewelry. It's your personal jeweler. Today we're reviewing the new Thin Links. Now we have the Heavy Links. I'm going to compare these more the Heavy Links for men, the Thin Links for women. So this is more of a women based video of these new Thin Links and I just got in the women's mannequin. I got, you guys already know, the men's mannequin. Now the women's mannequin for these Jacoji videos which helps me out a lot to display these chains. So I'm going to show you guys kind of the stacking layering as well as debut the new baguette cut chain which is very special. A lot of you guys saw the moon cut chains, bracelets, love them. I got two sizes in the new baguette chain so you got to check those out as well. With that being said, let's get started. From left to right we have the 3 millimeter extra thin link, the 3 millimeter short thin link, the 3.5 millimeter thin link, and then the 5 millimeter thin link. And then there's some variances when you're looking at them between these style chains and that's actually a really good to have that variety when styling your chains. And here's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Here's a clip of the three millimeter short thin link as a choker length, and then you have the three and a half millimeter white gold thin link stacked with the five millimeter thin link. So this is the layer effect. It's the same concepts and principles of what I talk about with men's chains, rope chains, whatever it may be, the same principles. You just have to make sure you do it right so it looks right. You could drop a longer pendant below that if you really want all that gold look. The main thing is just to know exactly how you want to wear it and these different links the contrast between the um, short thin link and then just like the standard thin link is really nice it kind of just switches it up so when you're looking at it it stands out it's those little tricks and details that will present the best look for you and you don't always have to have the need to stack or layer if you don't want to sometimes you just want to wear one chain here is a three millimeter extra thin link so you guys can get a sizing reference very classy these are what these chains are classy and elegant to wear and this is the look that it presents on the other end of the spectrum you have the heaviest version the five millimeter and then you get a chain that more or less stands out so it's a good option to have depends on what look you want the good thing with these the gram weights aren't crazy so it's easy to add and stack and then have options available for you speaking of classy and elegant here is the brand new baguette cut chains now i introduced the moon cuts and they've done really well they have the best shine in the world. These match those, um, especially with how popular baguette jewelry is right now. These are chains and bracelets. I'm trying to get you guys shining like a diamond here with the real value in gold. Diamonds are really expensive. Obviously, they're nice. I love diamonds, but let's be honest, gold is easier for everyone to buy and wear. So we have the 2.7 millimeter size, which is the smallest, and the 4 millimeter size. Stacked, layered, as you guys can see on the neck. And these things do a really good job of giving a unique look. I also have them in bracelets. So if you're more of a bracelet person and just want to stack the same um, principles with bracelets, goes to chains. If you want to stack and layer them, it's all fun stuff to do. It's personal style as well as length. People ask me, what is the length on the mannequin? Everyone's neck size is different and it varies. So it's kind of up to you to, to know or measure and see what works best for you and then go from there because a choker for one person is not gonna fit the next person. So that's what you have to keep in mind as far as what length to go with. Um, and then decide based off that. Real quick, I wanted to review the moon cut hoop earrings. And on my website, I'll have the exact, the diameter, the width, and the weight for each product accordingly. For your guys' reference, to, to start us off, we have the one inch size, the small size I have available in thick and thin. And here's a video of the thin version in ear for you guys to see as well as the thicker version in ear. Next would be the medium size, one three quarters inch in diameter. And then again, a video of it in ear so you guys could check out. Last but not least, the two and one quarter inch in diameter and in ear. Again, for reference, go on my website and check out the exact diameter the width of these and the weight so you guys can kind of gauge a better sense of what they are exactly because on camera they do look a little bit bigger that's why you want to kind of see exactly what they are because you might get a small thinking it's a large and it is actually small that's why i list them as a small medium and large so you guys can see the transparency got to be the best possible so you guys are happy and know exactly what you're ordering all right one last look at all the thin links layered on the jacoji women's neck and then i'll also do a bonus clip of the baguette cuts layered with the thin links for a nice stylish 
look brought to you by Braden with Sukoji Fine Jewelry. And my general opinion, yes, they are unisex, but I'll put a clip of the three and a half millimeter thin link on the men's neck and you guys be the judge. Me personally, I like a classy look for a guy, but that's more alongside a Franco or a heavy link, something with more weight, width, and gold weight to it than just a classy, elegant thin link. So that's why I kind of say the thin links are for women, the heavy links are for men. But of course, if you're a guy and you want something simple like this and the ground weight's not bad, then try it out, see if it works for you. For me personally, I would go heavy link and that's just how I would do it. But you guys be decide, it all, it all depends on your personal preference, of course. All available on my website, Shop Jacoji. That's it for today's video and we will see you on our next jewelry video.